As a black man growing up in the United States, learning history, you can't help but to wonder, why did they choose Africans to be slaves? Who knows if we'll ever know the whole story to why we were chosen, but today I know at least part of the story. Let's dig into this. The book that I'm citing today is actually Racial Domination, Racial Progress. It has a lot of great information in it. It was one of the most significant books that I read in grad school, actually. And the author is Matthew Desmond and Mustafa Emmerbright. I think I said his name right. So it all started with this idea of the new world, a place where we can grow rich. There's land and crap. We need people to man that land. But of course they couldn't do it on their own. So this is where the indigenous servers come into play. Who are these exploitable people? Many people wanted interest into the new land. So bad they decided, hey, I'll barter my labor for interest into the new world. There were ex-English prisoners, Impoverished people from London and Liverpool were kidnapped. This included women, men, and children. Some were Native Americans who were stolen from their tribal lands. Pause, wait. Native Americans were not Native Americans until non-natives decided to group them all together in order to understand who these people are, even though in doing that, you completely ignored the cultures that vary from tribe to tribe. Because generally speaking, depending on what tribe you're from, that's what you considered yourself to be. Makes sense, right? Some were Native Americans who were stolen from their tribal lands. Africans brought from the slave trade. And of course, as everyone knows, we had the Irish who were sold here from the Irish slave trade that was taking place. Now, I hope you paid attention to the specific people that were named as indentured servants. I say that because now, in order for you to understand why blacks were chosen to be slaves, or better yet, Africans were chosen to be slaves, I'm gonna group these people into three groups that people know best. Native Americans, whites, and blacks. I'd say the book highlights some of the most obvious reasons why each group were chosen to be or not to be slaves. Now, after I tell you the reason, you're gonna be like, oh, that makes sense because, well, it does. Um, as much as I hate to say that, as much as I hate to say that, the book said three reasons of this. Let's start with whites. So what was wrong with whites? Well, specifically the Irish. The problem with them was they didn't necessarily have the greatest skill set when it came to farming and agriculture. Also, well, they're white too, so they look just like the people who were essentially their masters and they could just walk off the land and no one would really be able to tell the difference. Especially if they change their clothes to hide that they're in poverty. Now the Native Americans, they were rapidly dying off because of the diseases that was plaguing the land brought over to it by the, a lot of the English settlers. Also, when it came to Native Americans, many of them knew the land, it was their land. So when it came to escaping, it was a lot easier for them to navigate it than anybody. Not to mention when they would run away, they had people to run away to. And those people tended to decide, hey, we might ride them. Long story short, come back and attack those people who enslaved my people. And you can't forget the most important thing here is money, of course. And Native Americans were counted on as trappers and guides for the fur trade. Now, blacks, I mean, Africans. Let's state immediately right off the bat the obvious reason. Well, they're black. Well, technically brown, because I'm this is black and this is brown, but I mean, some of us were black, but you know that's what we're called, so I'm not really saying anything new to you. Or should I say negro? But that also means black in Spanish, Portuguese. Not the point. They were kidnapped people, so they didn't know where to run away to. They had no family there, so they had nowhere to run to for refuge. In other words, no protection. Oh, remember those diseases we were talking about that the Native Americans were being killed by? Because of where they came from, they were immune to a lot of the old world diseases. And the climate in the American South was very similar to where they came from. So they were able to endure it a lot better than what one of the groups right in here. So I know, can I talk about Egypt since I just said that? Never mind, that's all topic. So long story short, the people that can't blend in and disappear with those who enslaved them 
became the most obvious and perfect slaves in this country. I want to remind you, I am not saying this is the whole story. This is just a part of it. Okay, so at this point, I'm sure many of you are now wondering, so what happened to indentured servitude? Why did that end? Why did we need slavery? How do we go from indentured servitude to slavery? One of the factors is Bacon's Rebellion. So what happened with Bacon's Rebellion is this. Irish, Africans, and English descent decided to have an uprising. The rebellion took place against the wealthy and the colonial government that supported the idea of this whole situation going on with an indentured servitude. There's a lot of information being left out, so please go learn more on your own. This uprising was very well supported, and because of that, it became a threat to those in power. So what did they have to do? They had to separate these people. They had to make these people who were Irish, English, African, groups from a specific land who acknowledged their national their nationalities they had to separate these people never allowed this to happen and in doing so they had to figure out a way to stop losing workers they needed to figure out a way to constantly have workers that weren't being set free slavery i hope you noticed that i kind of revealed some of the early influences on the creation of race with that being said what is race race is well Never mind, I ain't got time to finish. Yo, this topic is about to get real. We're gonna hit several levels of this idea of race, where it came from, the creation, and what it actually is. So stay tuned, cause it's gonna get real interesting. Whole lot of information gonna be dropped. If you like this video, please share it with others. Subscribe today. Hit that like button. Of course, comment below. I'm sure there's a lot of real knowledgeable people out there that's gonna be interested in some of the stuff I talked about. With that being said, drop some information, drop some knowledge down there in the comment box. Stay tuned, because the conversation of race is about to happen. And like that, two of these.